Hey, in this video we're going to make a music player that plays random music and keeps playing forever. And we're going to make some stuff on the right here that you can change. So first in Assets, right click, Create, C Sharp Script, call it Music Player, and open that up. So first we need an array of audio clips. Okay, so these two brackets means it's an array. There's going to be lots of them. I'm going to call it Clips. We also need an audio source. We're just going to call it audio source. And we're going to add this to our game. So back in Unity, click on your player. And on the bottom, scroll down, add component, audio source. This is the thing that's going to actually play the music. We're going to change the clip. We're going to turn off looping. And we're going to make the music come from that. Now you're going to want to make an empty game object. Name it music player add music player to it and we have clips here so right now our array is size zero let's say it's size three if you have three audio clips i do right here so i'm going to put them in this isn't music they're short clips but this is easier to test so i don't have to listen to a three minute song to see if my song is going to loop so when we start i'm going to find that audio source find object of type audio source. This is going to work if there's one audio source in the scene, which there is. And just in case, I'm going to say it's not going to loop so it doesn't get stuck on the same song. So an update, every frame we're going to check is our audio source, is it playing something? Well, if it's not, that's the exclamation mark there, then we're going to make its clip, its audio clip, equal to a random clip. This is a method we're going to have to write. And then I'm going to make it play that clip. So the get random clip, this is going to return us an audio clip. Get random clip. And so right here, clips is an array. Right now it's size 3, but we don't know if it's going to be size 20 or whatever you're going to do. So we're going to want to return something from clips. And if we did 0, this would get the first one or the second one or the third one. But instead of 0, 1, or 2, we want it to be random. So random.range. And you give it a minimum and a maximum. So the minimum is 0. And the maximum, if I said it was 3, then this would give us 0, 1, or 2. It doesn't count the three, but I'm going to say instead of three, clips.length. So right now there are three clips, so it's going to give us a number from, it's going to give us one, ah, it's going to give us zero, one, or two. So save that, and we'll go into Unity and press play. Okay, and it's playing our sounds. And if it was music, well, It'd be playing music. So that's how you make a random music player. I, I think that's the easiest, easiest way.